Rich guy, JG, if you guys watch Kim Clement on a regular basis, uh, his old stuff, he's passed away, rest in peace, Kim Clement, but I watch a lot of his uh, prophetic uh, worshiping and praising and words, and I just want you guys to check this out. Just listen to this for a second, okay? Back soon, you'll join me um, to get back to what I actually said uh, and what is being said right now. Do you realize I'm standing here and I'm already feeling and sensing prophetic things? I am taken back to Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee, when I was on the stage, on the TV and stage, and I began, we, you know, we were just flowing in the spirit, and we were moving, and I began to pick up on the United Nations. Then, I don't know what year it was, maybe 2008, 2009, 2007 maybe even, but I was there, and I was going, and I was prophesying, and I was talking about, and, I, and, a, and a stench came to my nostril. I mean, I mean that. I smelled something bad, and it was a literal smell, and I, that's when I saw the United Nations, and how God was so, um, I mean, he was, he, the way he spoke, he was disgusted with what was going on there. That was then. Can you imagine now? Do you really think this will carry on? This cannot carry on. And so I, I now, as I'm standing here, like Greg was saying, we, to, there's no time and space, I was taken back to that prophecy. And the Lord said, I want to remind you of what you said there, that it will come to nothing. It will be, the corruption will be seen. Maybe when we stand here, sitting here today, in Geneva, maybe there will be a, a, an exposure of some of the corruption that's going on. An exposure because God does not take lightly this kind of deception, and it's got worse. So that prophecy suddenly came to me now, and God said it's going to unfold in the next few months. So, if you guys are paying attention and you know what's going on in the world, the UN is not our friend. And, and Kim was saying this back in 2008, 2007, and then again he's reiterating it in 2015. Now he's saying that God was telling him that exposure, there's going to be some exposure. And what happened about a year later after this date? After J July, okay, I think this was in um, March March of 2015, okay, so what happened a year later? DJT came on the scene and started rolling out all that exposure and, and started waking up Americans and the globe to what has been happening and what's going on. And people like Kim have been saying this stuff for years, decades. I, I believe, in my opinion, I believe, I agree with these guys, I agree with Kim Clement and all this stuff that he says because I believe that it. this is the time, you guys. We are in the time... And we are in the time of our life. We are in the fight for our life. It is a battle of good and evil. And, and, and the more you watch Cam Clement and more you watch other people who prophesy, who are legitimate people of God, who hear and speak through the Spirit and through God, getting messages. If you're listening to what he's been saying, and before he died, he was saying that there's a lot of change coming. And, and I think 2016, 2015 was the pinnacle. That was That was the the gates opened, right? The floodgates have opened and now we know what's going on. We think we know. We don't know everything, you guys, but we know that there is a battle of good and evil and that, that it is... We are, on a, we, are on a, we are on a journey. We are on a spiritual quest to find that relationship and to better ourselves through Jesus Christ. So if we know something big is coming and we don't know the players, listen, because the UN is a huge player. They are not our friend. They are, they're like the... They are, the Builder, Builder Group, uh, the Trilateral Commissions, um, the Foreign Intelligence Committees, whatever. Um, there's so many other corrupted uh, global, the, the ro royalty, the royal bloodlines that rule this family, the wealthy elite, the satanic wealthy elite that run this country, that run this globe. They are being exposed. And Kim Clement exposes them. And in, in, I get goosebumps, you guys, because I get so on fire for this stuff. But these people are speaking God's word. They're speaking messages from Christ, from God, sorry, in the spirit of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So when, when I listen to this, I might not have all the verbiage right, you guys. I get excited. I'm sorry. I really do. But when I think I come into something and I'm able to tell the people that hey this might be something the un is not our friend the un is not if we start seeing the un rolling around in america we need to really just pay attention i'm not doom and gloom okay you guys i don't want your your hate mail and i don't want your hate comments either but don't don't mis misconstrue what i'm actually trying to pro project or, or 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 put on my channel because it's not doom and gloom you guys it's we have the opportunity 
that people have been waiting for for thousands of years. And so if it's true that Jesus will return, the second coming of Christ is coming, right? We know that. The Bible says that. That is verified. That is verified. But the exposure continues to happen. It needs to continue to happen because we need to get more exposure to what the agenda is, this global agenda. It's a global, demonic, satanic, luciferian, cabal, swamp, whatever you want to call it. It's coming down to this, you guys. It's coming down to simple brass tacks, nuts and bolts. You have Jesus Christ on one side. You have the enemy, the devil, Satan, Lucifer on this side. He influences his group of people and Jesus influences us. So when we're out there, if you can discern and you can make the connection and, and, and realize who is on your team and who is not, that's what we need to do because the exposure is going to happen. And what's happening, the exposure is exposing everybody that is not on Jesus' team. And we're saying, come over to our side. We're, we love you. Compassion, kindness, respect, loyalty, honor, dignity. That's what we offer. Or, on the other hand, you got... What we're seeing, the exposure of these huge global conglomerates that have so much power and they have so much more power than we know. And so a lot of people think that there's going to be a war coming. I don't know, you guys. I don't get that sense. I think it's going to be a spiritual battle that is going to be so far from what we think is reality that it is going to be a smack in the face and you are going to be left with a choice. You either go that way chase the enemy and let the enemy chase you or you go this way and we go as fisher of men trying to get people in our boat and save some souls kim clement is one of those people he paid a heavy price for all of his prophesying people knock him and and and, and say bad things about him but I, I i find inspiration encouragement hope and i also find information credible verifiable information through the bible and through what he says because a lot of his prophecies come true so as he sits in geneva in 2015 saying that there's going to be a lot of exposure coming what happened dgt got elected and that all that exposure happened and now we know who the obamas are we know who the clintons are we know who um um you know the cheneys that we know and granted we knew who these people were before but we didn't know the extent of their involvement in the cabal and now we know that the cabal is satan we know that it's evil so they're not just dabbling with uh, you know, taking people's money here and there. They're, they're taking people's souls. They have no soul. They, they think they've got it figured out and they think that they know that they can do all this on earth and not pay any repercussions. Well, you know what? I, I'm sorry to tell you, but there's going to be some huge prices to be paid for what's happening. And if we just stand strong, continue to hold on and continue to praise God, continue to have faith, unending faith, he will shake you. He will shake you. He will shake us. He will shake me. He will shake our house. But we cannot let it crumble. We have a foundation made in Jesus Christ. Our foundation is Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm getting a little excited, but our 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 spirit in our our dwelling, our house, it has we have to have it in order because it'll fall. the enemy is coming in every which way. He's coming through the back door, he's coming through the front door, he's coming through the side door. He's sleeping in our bedrooms. He's doing everything he can to try and uh, plant seeds of doubt. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy, right? He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what his motives are. But Jesus brings life. He brings renewal. He brings, he brings a sense of being born again. We can, we can chase after this life again with, 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 with fervor, with, with, with joy, with passion. And when you get that and you have Jesus in your heart, you'll know what it's like. So I, I, I ask you, I, I beg you, and I ask you, I'm not going to beg you, but, you, but I'm, I'm asking from the bottom of my heart, simply say these words with me. Say, Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know that you died on the cross for my sins, and I know that God raised you from the dead. Be my Lord and Savior, Jesus. Amen. If you say that and you earnestly want Jesus in your heart and you want to have the, the kind of compassion, love, joy, and all the great things that come with that, if you want to have that and you want to possess those things, ask him into your heart and, and, and read God's word. And there's a few stipulations. You have, to, you have to be striving to seek Christ every day. You have to wake up in the morning and say, what can I do for you, Father? If you're not willing to do that, don't accept Jesus into your heart yet. 
you need to surrender. You need to come to a point where where you have to give up. We are human. We are sinners. We are we have we have mortal flesh, right? We will die in the flesh. But when we seek Jesus Christ, we have a spiritual connection and a relationship there that far exceeds any other friendship or relationship you've ever had. Even with your best friend, your wife, your kids, your mom, your daddy, your grandpa and grandpa. This relationship far exceeds that and it's so hard to try and explain it to people that I just wish you guys will do it yourself and find out and then come and make a video and tell me about how great it is because I want you guys to be saved. So with Kim Clement saying as much as he does, pay attention, listen to some of these people because you know what? It not only is it church, but you're 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 hearing the 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 spirit of God working through a man, a mere mortal man to tell us that hey, things are not what they seem. Exposure is coming. Things are not going to be easy. I think we've hit an unprecedented time in 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 our in our globe and I don't know if um I don't know when or if um it's going to get better for us, but if we continue to pray and hope and, and encourage the other, each other, then we don't have to see all the negative and we don't have to deal with all that bad stuff. And we know that we have Jesus in our hearts. So we know that if he returns or that something happens today, you will die with Jesus in your heart. And that's what matters, you guys. That's what's going to grant you your salvation into heaven. And, and the heaven is eternity. And so it's so hard to grasp because we're in such a, we're such a human, we have such a human, um, you know, it's, it's, it's expected of humans to think of time and, and it's hard to wrap your hand, head around eternity. But just think if you could spend uh, just a hundred years with Jesus. Just think about that. Put that in context. Just think about spending a hundred years with Jesus. And then when that hundred years is done, you'll get to spend another hundred years. So put it into chewable bites for you. You know, you can eat a whole elephant. You can eat a whole elephant, but you only eat it one bite at a time, right? So when you're trying to digest some of this stuff, I know it gets to be a lot and it gets to be really heavy. But really, if you digest it in your own way, in your own time, in God's Word, and watching videos on your own time, you're not forced to do anything but what Jesus is asking you to do. And that's usually compassion, kindness, love, acceptance, surrender. You get that through Jesus Christ. So when you find that, hang on to it, and then go spread it to other people. And when you feel confident enough in your faith and in your walk that you can stand tall and go up against the enemy, that's when you need to start making videos, and that's when you need to go pray for people and lay hands on people and pray for them, ask them to accept Jesus into your heart, because you know what? You'll have the courage of Jesus in your pocket. he got your back. He's in your heart. He's on your tongue. He's on your mind. He's in your thoughts. He's in your actions. So if we continue to seek Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong. Please don't deny Christ. The opportunity to get in your heart. I love you guys.